go ahead. Go ahead, um, Rachel. The, the president's reference to door-to-door -door campaigns for vaccines sparked kind of a backlash. You know, Missouri's governor is uh, saying he doesn't want that. The Republican lawmakers saying basically stay off our lawns. Can you say who is doing the door knocking and where? Sure. Well, let me first say that this has been ongoing since April, and the best people to talk about vaccinations are local trusted messengers, doctors, faith leaders, community leaders. Do you have something, April, you want to share with the group? <laughs> okay. Um, so those are the people who are the trusted messengers um, around the country, and we believe that we need to empower these individuals to continue to work in communities uh, to uh, make sure people know uh, that these vaccines are safe, that they can save lives. And so these are grassroots voices uh, across the country. They are not members of the government. They are not federal government employees. Uh, they are volunteers. They are clergy. They are trusted voices in communities who are playing this role in door knocking. And this is one of the tactics that we've used over the last couple of months. But we've seen, so it's not the only factor, but I would say that we've seen in some states, Alabama, the adult vaccination rate increased by 3.9 percent. Uh, 149,000 additional adults got their first dose in June. In Florida, the adult vaccination rate increased by 4.4 0.4%. In Georgia, the adult vaccination rate increased by 3.5%. So in our view, this is a this is a way to engage and empower local activists, uh, so trusted so members of the community. Is it, is it working? And who are, who are these volunteers reaching other than, say, shut-ins? Because people don't even have to get off their couches to see who's at their door these days. Well, uh, I, that's fair. Depending on the technology in your house, I guess, I suppose. Um, but I think what's important for people to know, and I appreciate you asking the question, is that the federal government does not have a database of who's been vaccinated. Uh, that is not our uh, role. Uh, we don't maintain a database uh, along those lines, and we have no plans to. We do know where there are rates of vaccination across the country. And we know, as I just listed in some of the data, that there are tactics that are uh, powerful and impactful. And so I will say the thing that is is um, a bit frustrating to us is that when when people are critical of these tactics, it's really a disservice to the country and to the doctors, faith leaders, community leaders, and others who are working to get people vaccinated. This is about saving lives and ending this pandemic. Uh, go ahead. 